Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Let us discuss how to do the projections of a given rhombus. Here, first take the given data. The diagonals of rhombus measure 100 mm and 40 mm. Okay, if you are taking this is the rhombus, it has two diagonals. One is longer diagonal, the another one is shorter diagonal. Longer diagonal length is 10 cm and shorter diagonal length is 40 mm. Okay, two different diagonal lengths. Okay. Next sentence is the longer diagonal is inclined at 30 degrees to HP with an end in the HP. One of the end is in the HP. As I told in previous classes also, if one of the end is in the HP means you have to assume the entire plane is in the horizontal plane. Okay. So take this sentence, you have to assume the plane. It, sh it should be in the horizontal plane. And the smaller diagonal is parallel to both the principal planes. Okay. So let us see in the 3D diagram how it will come in. This is a vertical plane, this is a horizontal plane and the line joining both planes is called reference line or xy line. I am taking it is in the 3D form. Okay, The angle between vertical plane and horizontal plane is 90 degrees and here this is the first quadrant. What is telling? One of the end is, diagonal end is in the HP like this. According to that sentence, the entire plane we have to assume in the horizontal plane only. Okay, And now in next, this is the initial step. We need to take the entire top view as it is. We need to do the projections of it in the top view. We can see the entire rhombus as it is. And in the front view, if you see from front, we can see the entire length as line. Because this is the plane, okay, it has negligible thickness. It is looking like line. Okay, so in the front view, we have to see the line here. The line length is whatever diagonal length is say, 10 centimeter longer diagonal, we can see that length. Now after that, in next step, what is telling? At one of the point, the entire plane is making 30 degrees with the horizontal plane. This angle is 30 degrees. Okay. So, this rhombus in the top view, it is looking like reduced rhombus. Correct. And in the front view, if you see from front, whatever line, initial line is there, it is inclined at 30 degrees with the horizontal plane. Okay. If we are doing roughly diagrams, it is coming as it is in the initial position. We, have, we can see the entire rhombus like this so we can see the top view like this in the front view we have to do the projection lines like this we have to mark the corners here this is let us take this is a b c d okay so here mark a dash here b dash d dash should come at the same place same point this is c dash okay make it dark this one now fill this horizontal plane in downward direction like this now in the next step this entire plane is tilting 30 degrees okay so in the top view we can see the reduced rhombus reduced rhombus we can't do here directly what we have to do whatever front view is there it is looking like a line that front view is making angle how much angle it has given 30 degrees to the hp okay take another diagram and do here mark this point instead of a dash mark this is a1 dash take 30 degrees line and mark these points on it okay so this is c1 dash by using compass mark measure this line mark here b1 dash d1 dash okay drop the projectile lines like this at all the points from here also do the projectile lines from all these points okay like this so roughly doing here so join all these points intersection points a horizontal line a vertical line here a1 this is b1 this is c1 this is d1 we will if we join all these points we will get the reduced rhombus like this okay after this position we have to set this top view whatever top view is coming so in it the smaller diagonal is parallel to both the planes so the smaller whatever top view is there like this this is the top view so this here the smaller diagonal is perpendicular to vertical plane in this side in this position if you are taking in 3d form this smaller diagonal is perpendicular to vertical plane now what he is telling it is parallel to both planes so whatever diagonal is coming here shorter diagonal means this diagonal it is making parallel to both planes okay first we do these two diagrams after that we will see how to take the shorter diagonal is parallel to both the planes okay do here this diagram same diagram first do the xy line of any line 
so after doing the xy line here here this gap is not given you can take any gap here first do one longer diagonal okay it should be parallel to this line okay so this is given 10 centimeter or 100 mm okay and this is 40 mm first do the line parallel to this xy 100 mm take this as a reference line here start from this point 10 centimeter okay longer diagonal take the middle point so at this middle point take this is 40 this side 20 this side 20 now mark the end points a b c d always remember give the small letters for the top view okay join all these points Now this is the top view. Do the projector lines at all the points. Do the front view. Take this is the reference line. Do the projector line. Mark these points in the front view. Small a is a dash. And here b dash d dash. You can keep comma also. Here c dash. Make it dark. It is the front view. Okay, this is the initial position now after that take this length it is making 30 degrees like this so we can take any gap between two diagrams take this point i'm taking this is a1 dash 30 here just do the one line here mark here 30 On this line mark this length initially this length so this is b1 dash comma d1 dash after this measure this length by using compass mark here now take this point as c1 dash at all these points do the projector lines Take this is a reference line. So from these points also do the projector lines. Take this is a reference line. Take the intersection point A horizontal line, A1 dash vertical line. Take this point is A1, B horizontal line b1 dash vertical line take b1 here c horizontal c1 dash vertical c1 here d1 dash vertical line d horizontal line d1 so join all the points we will get reduced rhombus so here we got the reduced rhombus after getting this diagram the next step is he has given the smaller diagonal is parallel to both the principal planes okay which is a smaller diagonal bd is a smaller diagonal it is parallel to both the planes both vertical plane and horizontal plane okay in that case if line is parallel to both the planes means here and here we are getting the parallel line okay so here which line he has given smaller diagonal is given now just do at any place one horizontal line any place okay here i am doing i am marking this length because smaller diagonal is parallel to both planes here one parallel line here one parallel line of this length okay now take mark either this point or this point let us take this is a d2 mark this length on it okay by using compass measure this length this length mark here okay here we are giving d2 here give name b2 okay so mark the middle point of it this point
so after marking this middle point here at middle point do the vertical line this line okay now here take this is the reference line here do one vertical line okay of some length after doing this line okay on this line mark a and c okay we are tilting the entire top view like this vertically okay now measure this length by using compass now from here mark it on the vertical line take this is instead of c1 i am taking c2 okay similarly take this length from here this point mark here okay take this point is a2 join all the points so same diagram we are tilting like this so that this smaller diagonal should come parallel to xy okay at all these points do the projector lines vertically okay take this as a reference okay. and here also and here also so from these points also do the projector lines take this as a reference at a a1 dash point do the projector line here also do the projector and here also do the projector line here after getting these lines and vertical projector lines take the intersection points d2 vertical line d horizontal line take it is d2 dash always remember here we are giving a1 b1 c1 like that here we are giving a2 b2 c2 like that okay here whatever name is here same name is coming with dash so after d2 take c2 vertical line c1 dash horizontal line take this intersection point is c2 dash similarly a vertical line a horizontal line take this is a2 dash okay so b vertical line b1 dash horizontal line take this is b2 dash join all these points This is the final front view. This is the final top view. If you, if you observe this smaller diagonal, we are getting the parallel line. It will indicate the smaller diagonal is parallel to both vertical plane as well as horizontal plane. Always remember both front view and top view in all the cases should be dark compared to the projector lines. Okay. And here mark the given dimension. The smaller diagonal is 40 mm. Longer diagonal is 100 mm. Mark the angles also. So this is the assumption these two. This is the final front view final top view if you like this lecture please press the like button and subscribe my channel and share with your friends so that it will be useful for others also and other projections of planes video link i will give in description box please check it thank you for watching